Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring videos here on this channel. I cannot believe we are doing the very last video of 2022, and for that I am doing my December completed pages video. Holy crap, you guys, it was a good coloring month for me, literally just because I colored every day out of this book, and I also consciously made an attempt to color more than one page a day because I wanted to have more completed than just this book by the end of the month. So let's just go through stats really quickly. I colored 45 pages this month, which is a lot for me. I have, I think this is my highest month ever in at least my coloring YouTube journey, if not just my coloring journey in general. 45 pages is a lot. Like I said, a lot of them came from this book specifically. Um, but I got 45 pages done this month. I did eight buddy colors, which was a lot to be honest, considering I was doing the advent at the same time. So I have a feeling, and I'll talk about this more on Monday with you guys um, in my plans video, but I am going to be cutting down on buddy colors again, just because this was insanely overwhelming. Um, but moving on, uh, I did 41 color by number pages and I did four non-color by number. So I did not do many non-color by number at all. So I hope you guys like color by number pages because that's really what I have to show you guys. Um, but I worked in 18 different books this month, which again, not bad at all. And then I colored 10 Disney pages and I have 10 empties to show you guys. So like I said, pretty hefty month just of everything. Um, I'm really sad that it's my last video of 2022. I actually did not do a completed pages video in January or February of this year, so I did not do a full year's worth of completed pages for you guys, but I have done it from March on. Um, I had a little bit of a break in January, February that I didn't show you guys my pages, but it's been such a great year with you guys, and oh my god, this year flew by. Cannot believe we're already filming this, um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get right on into it. All right, let's quickly talk through these empties because I have... How many did I say? I have uh, 10 empties to show you guys. And uh, like, this is what happens when you try to finish a book and you finish a book in a month, you end up realizing which of your markers are really dead. Um, so first of all, I used up like my second or third black, just Crayola marker. I used these to outline my Disney books. So this one was a goner. This one wasn't even necessarily like dead, but what happened was the tip actually, I'm gonna see if this will focus, if you guys will see it. It's a little hard to tell. The tip um, kind of got like, like I closed the marker on it. I'm trying to explain this. This is not a good explanation. Like I literally closed it and it wasn't quite on. So it like just ripped in half basically. That probably was an awful explanation, but whatever the case, it was making my lines look really ugly. So we're done with that. And then I used up, I'm trying to see, okay, I used up one Cali Art, I believe. Oh no, I used up two Cali Arts. So I used up two Cali Art alcohol markers, which is crazy. I've had this set for nearly two years now. So it's probably about time that a color or two died. Um, and then I used up four of my Ohuhu brush markers, which you guys actually makes me so sad because like I've had this set for a year and I know markers die eventually. I get that, but like, oh, makes me so sad. But I used up those four markers and then I used up three Tau trees and surprisingly none of them are blues. Maybe that's because I don't really have any blues left in my Tau trees, but yeah, 2023, I can hopefully start using my new set of Tau trees, but I do still want to use up more of them. Um, but yeah, I used up 10 markers this month, which is high for me. That's high. Okay, so like I said, the book I mainly focused on this month was Such and Such Deva's Advent Calendar Color by Number. I'm not going to flip this page by page for you guys because I still have 20 other pages to show you guys and I did make a full video about this. That was my last video on the channel, so I will leave it linked down below. But I'll go ahead and quickly just page through some of the images for you. Um, like I said in my flip through video, this was a ton of fun. I forgot to mention though that this entire book was a buddy color with my best friend Meg, Meg's Art Atrium. Meg, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to forget to mention that, um, but this was a full book buddy color with her. We both completed it and I'm just so excited to have another completed coloring book in my collection. It's just so fun to look back on completed books. I don't know if anyone else does this. I know some people recycle their books when they're done or, you know, they keep them. I'm the type of person to keep them. I have the space for it right now and I feel like I'm always gonna have like I'm gonna make space for it always because I 
treasure things like this because they take so much effort to complete. I know I have video evidence of me completing them, but it's not the same thing as having the physical copy of the completed work that I did. So all that to be said, um, I finished this book and I'm going to keep it forever and cherish it forever. Okay, getting on into the other completed pages. I actually did a page from Stone Mosaic Halloween. This is the black background. This is by Belba Family and I am just working in order in this book. So the first and next page I did was this. I really like how it turned out. One of my goals for next year, a little bit of a sneak peek into Monday's video, is to do color anything any time of year and I really want to color more Halloween-y scary images because I always love Halloween coloring. Um, it's one of my favorites and I feel like there just isn't enough time for it in the year if you do it just like during the season so I definitely want to do more Halloween coloring just during the year but yeah I did this kind of creepy girl. I love the green hair. I think this just turned out really really beautiful considering it's kind of creepy so yeah, that is that page. And then I have one of my five books to finish next year, Stone Mosaic Black Background, and I am just working in order in this book. Um, so this is the page I did this month, just the page of the pizza, which, I don't know, to be honest, this doesn't even look good. I don't like mushrooms, and the fact that the mushrooms are like gray is throwing me off. It's fine. I just don't like mushrooms anyways. And I also like, what is this green stuff? Like, are these like snap peas on the pizza? And then we have like tomato, which is like normal, but like, I don't know. I know it's just a coloring page. I'm being dramatic, but yeah. I love how it turned out though. And I'm so excited to continue working on this in the new year. And then I worked in one of my new books. This is Kawaii Pets, um, Mosaic Color by Number by Alice Mills Publishing. I am just working back to front in this book because basically you get the image on this side and then you color it on this side. And if you were to go front to back, you would basically cover up this image. And I like actually being able to see what it's supposed to look like. Not a big deal necessarily either way, but yeah, I did the snacking mouse. I think it turned out really, really cute. This was so much fun to do. I love this premium paper. Um, I'm excited to work more in this book and my other new book by them. Um, I've never tried Alice Mills Publishing before I got these two books, so I'm excited to hopefully grow my collection of theirs next year. Okay, so then this is a page I did last night. This is Pattern, pattern Animals Color by Colors. I just like had a weird like throat thing going on, but I did this little like Christmassy reindeer page and I think it turned out really, really cute. Okay, but like, I don't know. When I was coloring it, it was either one of two things. Either I'm not as big of a fan of the color by colors as I used to be, or I just wasn't necessarily 100% in the mood for it when I did it. I'm hopefully leaning toward that one a little bit. Um, but, you know, when I was coloring this, it just felt more tedious than anything. And it's a simple page, but, like, it was kind of challenging to figure out where, like, what colors you were supposed to use where. Like, it's mostly clear, but at the same time, it's kind of confusing. I don't know. Am I outgrowing color by colors? I really hope not because I do love them. I don't have a ton of the books, though, so I don't necessarily see myself collecting them maybe moving forward but again it might have just been a case of like I've been coloring too much this month and maybe I shouldn't have colored last night but whatever the case is I did get a page done in here. Okay so we're gonna move on to Disney books. Um, Quite a few of these were buddy colors and I will try my hardest to link everyone down below but honestly I might not remember um, or I might be a little lazy so I apologize if not. But um, I first did a page from Le Grand Classique's Tomb 8 and this was my first page in this book. Um, and I did Cogsworth, and this was a buddy color with Heather. I don't recall her channel name off the top of my head, but I do know she has a channel. I know for a fact I linked it in um, my last one. I added it later. Um, she does have a channel. I know for a fact she has an Instagram, but we decided to each do a Beauty and the Beast page, and I love how hers turned out. Um, love how mine turned out. I think it turned out really nice. This book is a little bit on the darker side, but it's not that bad. This one's really not that bad. <laughs> Tomb 7 is worse, uh, but this one's not bad. But I did this page, it was a little bit tedious for some reason, but I don't mind it. I think it turned out nice. Um, so yeah, thank you again, Heather, for doing that buddy color, and this was Tomb 8. Okay, and then I decided to pull out portraits, and I did this page of Ariel and Flounder. I really like how this page turned out. I love, it just feels really bright. 
Um, I'm trying to even remember like what prompted me to even like want to do this page. I don't know. And I also don't know if you guys can tell, I had to use some Posca pen in Flounder's eyes. It's really hard to tell on camera, so I'm pretty sure you guys are not able to tell. But basically, I accidentally colored in his whole eyeball yellow. So I had to go in with some white Posca and fix that baby up because he looked mighty creepy with like yellow eyes. So yeah, I fixed that up and it didn't actually ruin the back, which is great. But yeah, that is another page I did. And then I did a page from Hiver or Winter. And I did this Chippendale page. This was a buddy color with Meg, Meg's Art Atrium. And we, let's see, I think what happened for this one was she told me she was gonna do this page and I said, oh my God, that's such a cute page. And she said, we should do it as a buddy color. So I said, okay, perfect. So that's what we did. <laughs> and I did this page also. So it did not take a lot of colors, which is awesome. And I think they turned out really, really nice. Um, again, I'm really glad I got to pull this book out this season. I did a page last month, got to do a page this month. Hopefully I'll do more in the new year because it's again a winter book, so not necessarily Christmas. I mean, even if it was, I could do it, but yeah. So I did the Chippendale page with Meg and then I did a page out of stained glass and I did this page and this was also a buddy color with Meg. So we picked a page for each other to do. Um, so if you guys want to see the page that Meg did, definitely go check out her finished pages video. I'm actually not sure if she ended up completing 100% her page, so she might not show it. Um, but if she did, you'll see it. And I did, um, I got picked, I got picked, whatever, uh, Sully from Monsters Inc, which I personally think he is very underrepresented in these books. Genuinely don't know how many times he's actually represented in these books, but he is like my favorite character. He's just the like cutest character out of like every Disney character, I think. So I'm really glad I got to do a um, Sully page. So thank you, Meg, for choosing him for me. You know how much I love Sully, so. Yeah, that is stained glass. Okay, and then I got to do a couple pages out of Mickey Donald & Co. And both of the pages I did were actually Mickey's Christmas Carol pages. Um, but to start out, I did this page. This was a buddy color, a double buddy color kind of thing with Meg, Meg's Art Atrium, and Jana. I think her YouTube name is Color and Create with Jana or something along the lines of that. Um, but we decided to do this group buddy color and basically like one of us picked a page for somebody else and then that person picked for a different person and like it was kind of like a triangle kind of thing. I, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I'm explaining anything right. But um, we did this page together and I really love how mine turned out. Um, I'm a very big fan and I'm like cruising through these uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol pages. Like I'm not gonna have any next year. Obviously just a joke. There's like 16 of them and I've done like five, but I've done like these two and these two, which is wild. I don't know. I never, I never like have them like all done in a row, but I did this page and then I also did this page, which is funny. And this one kind of has a little story behind it. Um, basically one night I'm like, perfect. I'm going to do a random number generated page. So I put in my little random number generator one through 30. And this was the book that was picked. And I was kind of relieved because I knew any page that got picked, it would be relatively simple. And then I picked this page it was another Disney, Disney, Disney. What am I saying? It was another Mickey's Christmas Carol page. And I was like, wow. Okay. What are the chances? Like one in 29, 95, right? Like crazy but I did this page um this is Jiminy Cricket right like pretty sure it is um so I did this page as well it took a lot more colors than I thought it would but I really like the end result I think it turned out really really nice this was one where I was just like I plugged in my audiobook and colored it so yeah that is it for Mickey Donald and Co and then I did a page from Cats and Kittens and this one was right here a buddy color with the lovely Amanda Downey on Instagram and we decided to both do the cover page so we both did this page and I really love how this one turned out I mentioned this in my flip through video but I really love the cats and kittens book I think it's really really nice it's really bright really colorful and this page just was really nice and it was a lot of white so that was really nice it was helpful um so yeah, thank you, Amanda, for doing that buddy color with me. Okay, and then I did a page from Optical Illusions Volume 3, and I actually did this page here of 22 from Soul. So I am making it, again, another little sneak peek into Monday's video. I am doing a new thing in the new year where I really want to 
random generate a Disney or Pixar movie every single month and not every single month, every single week, like every weekend and color a page from that movie. Um, so I did this two weeks ago. I was gonna do one last week and then I just didn't. Um, so I'll start this weekend. Um, but I did this page from Soul of 22. Soul was an absolute great movie. If you guys have never seen it before, please go watch it. It's so good. Um, so I did this page here. I didn't have a ton of choices to be honest of soul pages. Um, but again, I will talk about that in Monday's video, but I did the soul page, love how it turned out. And I had a ton of fun with that. And then I worked in Le Grand Classique's tomb three and I did first of all, the Anna page. Yay. I'm so glad this page is finally done, which means I have my Elsa Anna double page spread and it looks so good. This was a buddy color with Disney Meg's coloring. Um, so thank you, Megan. I know you messaged me. You probably sent me your picture and I just have not opened it. I haven't been on my coloring Instagram in a couple days. I'll get to that before this video is uploaded, but I did this page right here with Megan. So thank you, Megan, again, for doing this buddy color with me. I had a ton of fun. Basically what we did for this one is we chose a, we wanted to do basically any winter themed page in any of the books, um, any of the classics books, I think. So I chose Anna because I've been wanting to complete the double page spread since I did Elsa. So I did that. And then I also, um, just like a couple days ago, did Baby Moana and I was in the mood for something summery. So I did this page again, had my audiobook in, just colored, finished my audiobook. It was a good time. I'm not sure I'm in love with how her skin turned out. I think I might have messed it up a little bit, but I don't think it looks awful. Her lips are also really bright, which I don't think that was intended. Regardless, I think it turned out nice. So yeah, that's that's all I did in this book. Thank you guys for sticking along here. We are moving into the last Disney book. This is just Le Grand Classique's Tomb One. And I did, oh yeah, I did this Finding Nemo page right here. Let me get you guys a better view. So I did this page, um, I don't remember. This is Squirt, yeah? I don't remember this guy's name, but all I remember is like he was definitely like high. I'm just saying he was definitely high in the movie. He was my like low key favorite character besides um, Becky from Finding Dory. One of my favorites from Finding Nemo. But um, yeah, I did this page right here is Crush's name. See, I don't remember to be honest. I haven't seen Finding Nemo in a while. That was the movie I wanted to watch last weekend and then I didn't, but Regardless, I really like how this page turned out. So yeah, that is all the Disney I colored this month. Okay, so I did a few non-color by number pages, like I said. Let's go into Winter Chibis by Alexandra Francis. I did this page here of the girl dropping off her letters to Santa. I was so disappointed in myself, you guys, because I had another buddy color in here with Meg. She wanted to do the Hanukkah girl with me and I never got to it. And I'm so mad at myself for that because I should have colored it and I didn't. And I was like so excited to do it over Hanukkah and now Hanukkah's over. I know I can still do it whenever, but like maybe I'll wait till next year. I don't really wanna wait till next year to be honest. Like I think I'm like really sad I didn't do it, right? This is the only page I did from the book this month. I mean, at the end of the day, it's whatever, but I like how it turned out and yeah, I did that page. And then I worked in Cute Christmas by Jade Summer and I finished the cover page. And I started this in a color in chat and basically I was trying to copy the cover with the colors. And I think overall I did a pretty good job. Um, yeah, I think I did a good job. Obviously I added glitter, like glitter gel pen and things like that. But I do think overall it turned out really, really nice. And I, I think I did a decent job, so. <laughs> Just a simple page. Wanted to do a page in this book since I had bought it. So wanted to do a page in it. And then I'm so excited because I did a page in 50 Farmers Miniatures by Camelia Angelkova. And I did this really cute page of the two like ladybugs in their little boat, like having a cute little date night. It's so fun. Um, this book is so adorable. I did not give this book the attention it needed this year. Hopefully next year I'll, I'll pull it out more, but um, on this page, I just use like a hoo hoo brush markers, um, some Pentel Sparkle Pop, um, some Sakura like Jelly Roll Stardust. Um, so kind of just my normal stuff on this page. I have, this is like the only book I've told you guys what I've used on, um, but I feel like if you guys have been around my channel for a while, you kind of know what I use every time. Um, if you guys are new in these single-sided books, I like to use alcohol markers and like glitter gel pens and things like that. Disney books always use water-based markers. Um, so 
Yeah, that is that page. Last but certainly not least, I have Matchstick Mouse Christmas by Morgan O'Brien, and I did this page as a buddy color with Meg. We decided to do the little mouse running away with the candy cane, and I actually really like how this one turned out. I love how I did the candy cane. I like, on the line part of it, the silver part is glitter. Um, really like that. I made all the ornament. no, these are not ornaments, these are lights. I made them glittery. Um, really love how it turned out, love how Meg's turned out. Unfortunately, like some of my ohoohoos, when you open them, they kind of splatter. So I have like marker splatter everywhere on this page, but whatever, so. I did this page, love how it turned out, and that is it for my finished pages video. I thought this would be a little bit longer, but I guess it's kind of like the normal amount of pages that I do every month, <clears throat> except for the fact that I completed that book and I showed you guys last video, so I didn't flip through the whole thing. So this was very normal length. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below. I have a lot of fun content coming for you guys into 2023, um, and I'm excited to talk through my goals with you guys in my next video. And then it begins my um, coloring book collection and finished pages set of videos that's going to come in January as well, so you definitely don't want to miss out on that. Um, but... Yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and I will talk with you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!